I'm happy to be here, man. I, I learned the difference between good and well at an early age. I learned my grandmother's well water is not good. <laughs> I, uh, I got these new glasses recently. You might be able to see them, you know. I think, uh, I think they've been a net gain in my life, right? One thing I have noticed, I've been spending a lot more time wiping my ass. I feel like before I had these, I just couldn't see shit, right, folks? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. uh, I got a dog. My mom calls me a dog dad. I hate that, you know. Always got to tell her, no, you don't get to be a grandma. There's a real good chance you're one of the main reasons this is a dog and not a person. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I can't keep a therapist long enough to find that out, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's tough, man. My sister had a son about a year ago, so my mom's off my back now, but... Uh, my mom will send me videos of this kid's development that my sister will send her because she thinks we don't talk. Uh, but me and my sister have iPhones and my mom doesn't. So I'll just get these little grainy pixelated videos and she's just like, look, he's learning how to walk. You know? I'm just like, are you sure? Like, this looks just like the video of Saddam Hussein getting hanged that I watched. <laughs> that I watched on the family computer. But yeah, he's walking, Shelly. What the fuck? <laughs> no, man. Not all jokes, you know. One out of five kids doesn't know where their next meal's coming from, and that's sad, right? But four out of five kids thinks their next meal is being delivered on an airplane shaped like a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> kind of think that's more sad, right? Kids are dumb, man. <laughs> Interestingly enough, uh, not a lot of people know this. 9/11 was actually a single mom trying to feed her fussy twins. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Everybody thinks it was an inside job. Turns out it was just a whoopsie. <laughs> so I want you to keep that in mind next time someone tries to tell you 9-11 was an inside job. Just say, hey, it's hard being a single mom. Right? <laughs> I did that for you, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I've been getting into flossing recently. I'll try this. The mouth stuff, I don't know the dance. Yeah. Found out chicks dig guys who floss, so now I just do it all the time, right? <laughs> Feel like I would have gotten into a lot more a lot earlier if I knew chicks dug it, you know? It's like nine out of 10 dentists want me to brush three times a day. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> what do the ladies with the big naturals want me to do? <laughs> Go bananas, I will do whatever they say, right? <laughs> You know how it's always nine out of 10 dentists that agree? Everybody thinks it's because one disagrees. Actually, it's because one killed himself. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the blues, folks? <laughs> Ain't that the blues? Oh, cool. Having so much fun, I feel like I'm running the light. Um, saw a toad recently. Y'all seen these? Kind of like frogs, a little different, you know? can't quite put my finger on it. They're too quick, you know. But I can't see one of God's creatures and just enjoy it, you know. I gotta be like, who sent you? You know, so. Pull my phone out, look up the symbolism of seeing a toad. And it turns out, in Chinese culture, it's bad luck. It's a bad omen to see a toad. And I was just like, thank God I'm not Chinese. <laughs> that would have been a goddamn day ruiner. But... You know, the next day, I had to put my cat down, and it's the hardest thing I ever had to do, right? Just feeling his life, leave his body, but the whole time I was just distracted. I was just like, maybe I am Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have been playing on my phone. That toad was trying to tell me something. <laughs> All right. Well, next time I'll try and do better with this side of the room. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Y'all ready to keep the show going? <laughs>